Tonight, I thought I would tell you a bedtime story. Daddy, I'm too old for stories. You're never too old for a bedtime story. Today's story is called The Hermit Crab. Our lead character is a hermit crab, and his name is Hermit. Couldn't the hermit crab have a cooler name? Shh, I'm telling a story. Hermit is one of the first inhabitants in a new 90-gallon reef savvy aquarium. Herbert's first neighbors are some beautiful corals, some turbo snails, and... Oh, the snail, go back to the snail. Uh, nope, you know what? I'm gonna move the camera angle so you can no longer see the snail. I can still see it. I'm just gonna change the whole camera angle. Daddy, I wanna know more about the snail. Snails are the most vicious creatures in the sea. You think sharks are bad? Wait until you see a turbo snail. They steal each other's shells. They fight for dominance. And occasionally, they clean up some algae. Promise me, if you ever see a turbo snail, you run. Uh, Daddy, I don't think that's in the book. Let's get back to the story. So Hermit has a problem. What kind of problem? A big problem. Little Hermit has outgrown his shell. Aww. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Many species of hermit crabs have long, spirally curved abdomens, which are really soft and leave them open to predators. To protect themselves from predators, they use salvaged empty seashells. The cool part is that they can retract their whole body into the shell. So in this case, the owner has several shells waiting for a situation just like this. He gets the shells and gently encourages the hermit to take the shell. Eventually, Hermit accepts the new shell and is once again protected in a bigger home and happy. Looking pretty stylish, I might add. Daddy, what is the point of the story? Well, the point of this story is to give hobbyists a quick tip to keep extra shells around because as their inverts grow, they will need bigger shells. And since our inverts keep your tape clean and looking good, you should keep them happy and looking good, even the turbo snails. That's the point of the story. <laughs> Must have been a really good story. <laughs>